Question. What are the trials you are facing as an artist, and how do you conquer it? Let's start. Good afternoon, sir. It's a pleasure to be able to interview you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I am your interviewer, Kyle Pino Santos. Um, first, sir, can you please introduce yourself and give a little background about yourself? Uh, yeah. Good afternoon, of course. Good afternoon, everyone. So, I am uh, Orlando Dukai. Well, actually, I am a science uh, major. So, it so happened I am under the public department, so teaching dance. So, um, I don't have any formal trainings on dance. It so happened uh, I am very much fan of studying and learning all about dance as an expression uh, of myself. And I want to pass it forward to the next generation. So, sir, in what fields of arts do you specialize in? Of course, uh, it is dance. Next is, what are the challenges or trials do you face as a local artist of the modern society? Uh, well, personally, um, as a mentor of dance, uh, the, the challenge I have, especially uh, in my classes, is the curriculum. Uh, we don't have any more books that uh, provide knowledge or uh, reference enough for us to make our students quit. So as it does enthusiast myself, I do teach them with uh, my research as well as my own understanding and application of my knowledge from the previous experience. Okay. So, um, what drives you or motivates you to become an artist? Uh, well, way back when I was young, I believe it was during my high school life, I never actually imagined myself being here of what I am right now. Um, because my parent myself, uh, my, uh, itself is not a fan of uh, me performing on stage, performing in the crowd. Just that I have this burning passion as well as I dream and I believe that dream to be fulfilled with my own um, perseverance and of course doings. Wow. Uh, next, uh, do you have anyone or a group of people that have supported you throughout your career as an artist? I, I believe way back in college, that was my uh, organization that provides me with my scholarship. Uh, that was the cultural uh, NIPA, of course, the Northern Negros Integrated uh, Performing Arts Company. And for now, in the current, I have my own studio in which the Dream Dance and Theater Art Studio uh, with them. You know? So each dream we are trying to fulfill. And of course, me myself, I started as a dreamer. And achieving each dream is what I'm looking for. Uh, um, were you once discouraged at the start of your career? And what was the hindrance to you to pursuing your career? Uh, a lot, actually, a lot. There's uh, so many uh, hindrances that blocks my way you know, becoming an artist in this field of dance. Um, we know, you know, we cannot choose people we can please. And maybe there are some who can admire us, but not everybody. It's just that believing in ourselves that we can do more and we have to surpass the expectation of others. Uh, courage, that is it. Uh, we really need to uh, believe that we can do more. And yes, of course, uh, it, this is for the next generation and that's just only for myself. So, hindrance, I believe, the criticisms of people that might make us down 
or uh, make you down. However, we have to look behind it that every uh, dreamers um, they can be your strength. Um, so, what message do you want to convey to upcoming or aspiring artists? Strive hard, of course. Work hard. As I've uh, uh, relayed the message, or as I say, I, I talk to everybody. And any uh, students I've encountered, I've, I'm always telling them that um, experience, I mean, performance never lies. It will, it will always speak the truth. How hard you work on, how hard you, tr you strive, and how much pain you can endure, and how far your dreams uh, can lead you, of course. Okay. So, sir, this is our last question. What advice can you help to motivate this aspiring artist? Uh, of course, I cannot actually say that I am perfect. I am not also in a place making myself as a good example of being an artist. The, I, I believe the only thing that I can say to motivate them is that do not expect much. Work much would be better. Thank you, sir. Very, you know, aspi inspired, inspiring. <laughs> thank you, course, sir. Of course, of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. It's a pleasure to be able to interview you. And thank you for giving us this opportunity. I am your interviewer, Cal de los Santos. And can you please introduce your name and give a little background about yourself? I'm a teacher here in Sagan National High School. Um, I've been teaching mathematics for almost eight years. In what fields of arts do you specialize in, sir? Uh, I guess I uh, specialize in music, spe uh, specifically in, uh, uh, in playing bass. And also, um, I create some music but uh, I don't have the time to release it because I don't know. <laughs> okay. um, number two, what are the challenges or trials do you face as a local artist of the modern society and how do you face or concur it? Um, I guess one of the trials that um, I faced is um, be being anxious. <laughs> about um, uh, and also um, it's a, uh, self confidence is a big part of being an artist and i guess um, it's one part that i lack <laughs> and also um, i'm afraid of the possible um, criticism that i may face if i'm going to um, let's say create or release something <laughs> so so, paano mo siya ma-face, sir, ang amo na, sir, nga problem? Mm. Uh, I guess through constant exposure, by um, exposing yourself to um, to the scene, especially to the music scene, and meeting some people, and also um, um, building up your confidence. Okay. Um, what drives or motivates you to become an artist? Um, I guess passion. <laughs> um, do you have anyone or a group of people that have supported you throughout your career as an artist? Um, my friends, also um, my family, my um, especially um, those uh, those friends that are close to me and also are in, uh, those that are in the mu also in the music scene so um, um, they try to support uh, not try but <laughs> they support you in all the things that you do and of course um, they um, 
gina kabud lang mag-English. <laughs> okay lang hindi English. Okay, so gina gina gaan kanila uh, platform uh, for you to perform or show what you can do. Um, next is, were you once discouraged as the as at the start of your career, and was this a hindrance to you pursuing it? Of course, um, uh, the, the, there are artists that um, somewhat um, they try to um, gatekeep those newbies, uh, mga baguhanon yun na gatekeep nila. So I don't know if it's part of their insecurity, but um, if they see that. The, um, you doga try ka bala sulod something ka makita nila nga daw daw um, what? Na, not all pero may ara artist nga may ara gin sila capability nga mang discourage yun brasuyaan kanila but later on um, na, dum, uh, as an artist dumaanad ka na bala mabait ka na sa mga muna kabot kag normal lang kina siya yes oh. um, so what message do you want to convey to, to the upcoming or aspiring artist? Um, believe in yourself. <laughs> and also, um, hindi maguntat. Misan ano yan, balas ang ibang nga tao sa iyo mo. Misan mga basa, alaw, ay kang maubra. Na, na, ano man yung maubra man, do palagpat man eh. Na, um, process eh. Um, every, fa uh, every failure is not a failure. Kung si Giannis pa, it's part of your growth. Na, do ka do ka uh, every every step win or lose it's part of your development so fail, failure is part of the success so amo lang na siya sir amon questions and thank you thank you good evening sir it is a pleasure to be able to interview you, interview you right now thank you for giving us this opportunity so i have here some questions so my quest, first question will be what are the trials you're facing as an artist and how do you conquer it? Um, actually, trials and challenges are part of becoming an artist and of course, it's part of your journey. And I think one of the biggest challenges that we have as an artist is the perspective coming from the viewers or at the same time, the as a filmmaker, um, not all viewers and not all audience will really appreciate your work so that's one of the challenges that you need to be very bold enough to accept criticism and at the same time to be very construct to be able to cope up with constructive criticism and learn from it thank you